stocked as you can and give as little back as possible. That's the culture we're stuck in. Yeah? How do you capitalize, maximize your intake? Yeah? Oh, that's sad. Yeah? And no one wants to argue, it's not a bad thing. Try and look at the world then. Look at the health of our planet in just barely a hundred years that that has become the dominating concept in the world. You want to argue some kind of numbers back at us. Like, Open your eyes. I'm not interested in entertaining arguments about that when I'm looking at the face of our babies and realize I can't guarantee them a future. Because your numbers say something. Screw your numbers. We're dealing with the real world right here. Okay, so how does it have to do with the mountain? Same sickness. We are facing the same sickness on the mountain. Now, this is not a personal, or it's not, it's not really a jab at the, the, the science of astronomy, but about the corporate and the business that's built around it. Yeah? That is just going to ramrod it as much as it can. Why? Because what, we're, what, we're, what is happening on Mauna Kea at our Aina's expense is a competition. Who gonna find what first and slap their name on it and get famous? Now that's not to disregard, of course, the, the, the noble, the noble science of trying to you know, and want to increase the knowledge of the world, but let's not be fooled that there's got an underlying layer of, of capitalists getting ready to maximize their intake on this. And we're just gonna say, yeah, we're not willing to sacrifice our face for your game anymore. We're not. Done. We're done with that. And that concept, I mean, uh, well, Mauna Kea for me, it's a microcosm of what we're dealing with in so many other arenas. Yeah? But to look at the, the top of this mountain is very important. So we have, of course, our sacred connections, our, our ancestral, our traditional practices, and, and uh, understandings of our pivina to this mountain, as the mountain is born of Wakia, Wakia and Papa, like the union of heaven and earth at that point. The yeah? so Mauna Kea is, is sacred because of its uniqueness as well. It's very sacred because of its uniqueness that it's so high that it actually penetrates out of the realm of Papa and exists in the realm of Wakia, it's in the atmospheric realm. Yeah? And above that, it, it exists above where the those of the Papa realm live, like the Kumula, or the trees, the plants, most of them, they, don't, they can't live up there. It's so high, it's in the Wakia realm. So then, those animals and plants that are found up there, they are of such high significance. They're not of the same realm as those bugs and plants down here. They are in their own. They have to be evolved into their own unique species. Because if you go take that little fern that's going all over the TNT site, yeah, you take some time, holo holo inside, and they'll tell you, no, 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 you say, Hawking, <laughs> Kupu, all these unique types of ferns. Some of them look like ferns in the low end, but obviously, if I were to pull up life from here, I'm going to plant it up on Mount Akiya. Enough on that. Likewise, if I go get that fern from way up there, and say, I'm going to plant it in my life. Enough for this. If I go find a Pe'ebakhawa with a wolf spider that lives all over in the Pahoi Hoi flow that is the northern plateau, if I go catch that bug and bring it down, he will die before we get to the bottom. But I find a king spider down here. Oh, he don't need the one up there. We'll take one there. He will die. Thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> but um, 